Okay. The snowblower blew a gasket and I show you how to fix this. I apologize for any background noises here, but my microphone is a little sensitive in the moment. If you experience loss of power, a noisy engine and it's really rough idling, then you could check this. Is your exhaust loose? Is it loose? So let's remove this cover here, those two screws, and take a peek behind and then let's look what we can see. If an exhaust loses the exhaust gasket, then it will be loose because the gasket is missing and there's like a little gap. If it's very dark, you may see flames coming through there. But um, that's very rare, but you may see it. So if you see flames there, then, then you know, hey, there's something wrong. Alright, so this is where the gasket is located. <coughs> Between the cylinder head and that thing. And there is the next screw we have to remove. So we basically have to take the cover. The carburetor is covered up. And um, we need to take that off the cover. In order to get to the screws we need to remove to get the exhaust pipe off. And you see exhaust pipe, so this is like a muffler kind of situation. There's no real pipe on there. So the muffler basically is mounted straight to the cylinder head. And getting this cover off is a little bit difficult sometimes. On this side we can see this. There's two screws that we have to remove with the Phillips driver. And you for sure have to memorize when you take a screw off where to put it back because any screw here could be different from another. I use pliers here to remove that knob while it's on the choke. And then I should be able to take this off. The only thing what it's connected to is a ground wire there. I have to leave this down here. That's not in the way, don't pull on the wires too much. Now there is the exhaust, the muffler, and you see how loose it is. See how I can move it? Let's get closer to it. There it is. The muffler is fixed with two screws, and they are secured with this little metal piece there. Though they should not be able to loosen themselves just because they were not tight enough. Um, this is plainly because the exhaust gasket is missing now. Blown out, basically. And uh, so yeah, let's remove the safety device here. Let's bend it away so that you can uh, put your nut on that. So that we can loosen it. We are going to do this whole thing on the cold engine, right? When you have a cold engine, then those balls are small. If you have a hot engine, the, ba uh, the balls are wider and they are really tight in those ball holes. So we don't want to break those. That's why we do this on a cold engine. And when we put this back together, we don't put the screws on extremely tight because we don't damage the cylinder head. Those two, there it comes off. Where is the gasket? There is no gasket. Because it's gone. It's blown out completely. We see the black areas. There it's where the exhaust was going in between on the sides. There you see where the exhaust was leaking out before it went into the muffler. We have a new gasket for this engine. That's how it looks like. Now we put the new gasket on there. And we notice it doesn't really fit good. 
but that's what we got. Don't have anything different. So we're gonna put this back on. And we make sure that the gasket is not falling off or anything when we put it on. So you have to look there. Make sure that the bolts fit in the hole and we do this by hand. So that we don't mess up the thread and the cylinder head. And then as I said, we don't want to do this too tight. And there we can see where the gasket is in that gap there. And when we move, you see there it is. So that has to be super flush and tight on there. All right, so now we need the tool. And those two screws are the ones we have to do first. Very important that they can get tightened first before anything else. There's a third screw on the muffler that comes later. But those two, the seal of that gasket, they go first. There it goes. Now, once we have the muffler tightened, I'm pretty sure in the service manual there will be a value for how tight they have to be. I usually have a good feeling there. Once we're done there, we have to bend those metal pieces back towards those screws so that they can't loosen themselves. They can't um, when you fix them like this. There you go. Two. And now we put this thing back together. See how, how tight this is? Very nice. So we are going to put this back together the same way we took it apart. Uh, in this case here now, I think it's best if I fast forward so that you're not bored with the whole thing here. You saw how I took it apart. Putting it back together is basically the same way. So now we're going to start this thing. That's the fun part of it. Because it should work better now. Because it went on today. Like earlier today it ran. That's when I noticed that the gasket was blown out. So it's not super cold. There's too much gas in there, you know. There it goes. Alright, so then I take it for a spin. And you enjoy the rest of the movie to see how it works. And maybe you come back later and you subscribe and see what else is not working. Maybe in the spring when the lawnmower doesn't work, doesn't start. You can watch that video, or I have one where a generator, a power generator doesn't start. So, yeah, just have a look. <laughs> 